This is the Fujifilm X105 and I just wanted to do a quick review of it in 2024. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, this is Wire Creatives, and today I want to go over a quick review of this camera. This is the Fujifilm X106. Sorry, I mean, um, I wanted to go over a review of this, which is the Fujifilm X105. Now, I've owned this camera since about the late summer, uh, 2023, but I didn't really start carrying it until the early fall, so I'm gonna say like about six-ish months for this review. Now, before we get into that, I just want to say thank you all so much. I just hit a milestone for me, which was 100 subscribers. So thank you all very much for subscribing. I appreciate the support. And I kind of have a question for you. Let me know down in the comments which video made you subscribe. I'm kind of interested in seeing when you joined this journey. So again, thank you all so much for that. Let's get back. It is a two-minute Tuesday, and I know I'm not really good sticking to two minutes, but let's go ahead and put two minutes on that clock. So this right here is the Fujifilm X105. It has been my EDC camera for the last six-ish months. Now, when I picked this up, or even before I picked this up, I had a few questions I had for it that I would want answered in say six to 12 months to see if I am gonna keep this in my toolbox. So my three main questions were, is this really an EDC camera? Can I easily upload the images from this? And does this really want to make me take photos? Is this an EDC camera? 100% yes. It's a camera that I can easily carry with me. Now, the way I carry this is in my sling. What makes this so accessible is that if I wear the sling on the front, we're out walking, I see a photo I want to do. Because I don't use a lens cap, I just pull this out, turn it on, take my photo and double check it. If it's good, put it away. If I need to, take the photo again and I'm good to go. It makes it really simple to carry. That's opposed to doing something like um, my Canon R6, which has different lenses. What lens are you gonna choose? I gotta throw that on my back with a backpack and then you can't always bring a backpack with you everywhere. And then also, this is really small. It's a very discreet package and a lot of time people don't even really notice that you have it. So you're able to do candid moments that you may not be able to catch when you're working, you know, a bigger camera out. So you have like a 70 to 200, you know, they do stick out. The next question was being able to transfer these photos quickly and get them to where I want to, whether that's social media or family and friends. And the answer for that is yes, I can do this very quickly. And I'll give you an example. We go to a family event, there I capture the photos that I want to, the candid moments, and before we even leave there, everyone gets to their cars. I'm able to transfer the photos to my phone via the Fuji X app, and then I'm able to just send those to everyone that was there to be able to share that with them. Posting to social media, again, because I'm using Fuji recipes, I don't edit anything coming out of this camera. And the only thing I might do is a crop. I'm able to streamline that process, which allows me to enjoy A, the moment, and B, sharing them a lot quicker, just in case you may need them. Does this make me want to take photos? Yes, it does. And using this again for the past six months or so, I've really enjoyed shooting with this. Having it every day with me has helped me dial that process in. Being able to shoot full-time manual if I want, or falling back to one of the priority modes like aperture priority, which is what I mainly shoot this in right now. I really like the process of that. Having things like the Fuji recipes that you can play with and tweak and dial into your exact style. I've really enjoyed doing that. And then also kind of recreating those film styles. It's kind of, it's almost like shooting film without the added cost of it because Film prices are rising, developing prices, you know. This just allows you to really enjoy taking photos again. And that's something that I was looking for. I have been enjoying it so much that I did pick up the Fujifilm X106. Even though I do have the 6, I'm still going to take this one out because, again, I do enjoy shooting with it. So that was my kind of quickish review. I know I usually blast past two minutes, and of course, I did that again. I do want to say again, thank you all for so much for subscribing. I really appreciate the support. Again, 100 subscribers was definitely a milestone that I've been looking forward to hitting. And all weekend, I've been watching it and waiting for it. So again, thank you so much. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, and if you're looking for a review of this, I will be doing a first impressions of it coming up pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that.